What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, and smash that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Keep God first. You need? I'm going to let these two videos take off. I'm going to play catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. Instrument. After this video came to light, you can see these are 12 and 13 year olds at Kimbrough Middle School in Mesquite, Texas, whose faces have been blurred because their minors appear to be fighting each other at the encouragement of their substitute teacher. The incident was caught on a cell phone video obtained by NBC Dallas. The mother of the student who filmed this video says she was shocked at what she saw. I was devastated. I was like, I couldn't watch the full video. I had to stop it multiple times because I didn't think it was real. I said, this must be a prank. This, this is not real. According to Martinez, her daughter told her Garcia pushed desks aside to create a space for the students to fight each other, with some leaving the classroom bleeding. I do not want this on record. The school district confirmed the teacher encouraged the fighting and told a student to keep watch at the door while fights took place. Who in their right mind? Because I trust my child to go to school, but I also trust the staff to keep my kids safe. And then this lady, she just, she actually making them fight. Mesquite Independent School District released a statement calling Garcia's actions appalling and intolerable. They write in part, as educators, our hearts are heavy knowing that an individual entrusted with the supervision and care of our students could behave in this manner. And we share the disgust that the families of students in this class must feel. Mesquite ISD has fired Garcia, who had been an employee of the district for just over a month. It's not clear if Garcia has obtained legal counsel. The Dallas County Public Defender's Office has not responded to a request for comment. Now, Beatrice Martinez, whose daughter filmed the video, says her daughter is getting death threats from fellow students for reporting the incident. Car from another. Yet remarkably, for a third time in a week, seemingly innocent moments of confusion have led to bloodshed. From Kansas City, where a teen who approached the wrong doorstep is recovering from two bullet wounds. To New York State, where a 20-year-old woman was fatally shot after the car she was in accidentally drove up the wrong driveway. And now in Elgin, Texas, a high school cheerleader has been shot and seriously wounded after her friend apparently approached the wrong car. A string of tragedies unconnected, except for the fact in each case someone reacted with a gun. In all three cases, the alleged shooters have been arrested and face charges. Morgan Chesky has the latest. Three shootings in one week, Missouri, New York, and tonight, Elgin, Texas, all tied to seemingly innocent mistakes, approaching the wrong car or home. I'm Peyton Washington on Woodlands Elite Generals. High school cheerleader Peyton Washington, the latest victim, after a stranger opened fire on her and three friends in the parking lot of a grocery store outside Austin. It was unfortunate these girls were um, just trying to get home. The girls traveling home from a late night practice to where they had all parked their cars. After one of the teens mistakenly approached the wrong vehicle, police say a man began shooting multiple times. The guy got out and they saw that he had a gun and so they tried to speed off and he shot his gun like five times or so. Police arresting Pedro Telo Rodriguez Jr. charged with deadly conduct, a third degree felony as Washington remains in the ICU. She's won every title there is to win in all-star cheerleading. She's literally a role model for the kids in this industry throughout the country. Everybody knows her. Oh, right, the latest shooting oh, comes days after a Kansas City team was shot in the head you know after going to the wrong home to I'm pick up his younger brothers. The 84-year-old you know suspect I'm pleading not... I mean, man... Man, these some stupid people in this world, man. I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? What's she get a kick out of that for? What's she getting a general rush? And what that, uh, 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 that make her excited or something? You letting two teenage fight? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, man, what type of mind she got? Oh, I forgot. She's 24 years old. You feel what I'm saying? She act just like 12 and 10 year old girl, man. Now, what if something would have happened? Hmm? That you getting your job taken and getting arrested, you better be lucky you getting out because anything would happen to them kids, one of them kids got hurt, got a question by anything, you'd have been doing more than uh, uh, a year or either six months behind them balls. You feel me? You'd have been doing like 10, 20 years for that. Man, 
What this world coming into, people? What people thinking about? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? What they drinking? What they smoking? She a substitute teacher, and you tell me you're going to let this pop off? You ain't going to tell another kid to go out the door. I got the other video that a girl standing up, and she went way to the to the left hand. Yeah, she went to the right hand side, to the back. And she jumped around. She got on a red shirt with black on it. And she had bag against the door like this here. You know what I'm saying? Because the teacher told her to go and guard the door. She guard the door for her. She ain't no dog. You feel me? What kind of mess is that? Man, people do some wicked, weird stuff, man, in this world now. I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about, man, I, man I, sometimes I don't be knowing what to say about people, man. You know what I'm saying? I been mean, don't say the wrong thing about the one that being a crash dummy along with the crash dummies out here. You feel me? Man. And then you got these men, man. You can't even drive your car. Make a mistake. I'm telling y'all something now, man. Y'all better not turn nobody y'all, man. You feel me? All that turn around bragging out. Man, these people ain't playing no more, man. I'm going to tell y'all something. Satan is in a lot of people's head right now. Facts. Satan floating, baby. I'm talking about he floating to another body. He, when the body gets finna doing what he doing, he float out of that body. He floating to another body. You know what I'm saying? He floating into the weak ones. That's weak right there, man. All these kids getting hit up. For no reason. I'm glad that little dude, he lived, man. Because I did pray for that little dude, man, for real. I'm glad he did make it, man, for real. You feel me? Because I had, you know what I'm saying? I had I had recorded the video about when he had got, got hit up by that man. You know what I'm saying? A man on a $200,000 bond. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, he bond out. Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that right there's attempted murder. And I'm going to keep it real. For attempted murder charge... That's about 15 years to the dope. You feel me? And they better not cut this old, old wrinkle up man. No slack, nigga. They better give him the business. No matter you young or old, give him the time that you give everybody else, man. You feel me? They better not show no pity or no remorse. I don't care how old he is. That man, he know what he was doing when he pulled that trigger, when he squeezed it, baby. And not stand on T and no business on that. All the rest of them, man. Something wrong with people in this world. It's like, man, we came on drive up in a driveway, make a mistake. Just to turn around. Ain't like we coming to your door knocking, you know what I'm saying, selling Girl Scout cookies. You feel me? Ain't like we climbing in your windows or nothing. Ain't like we bun rushing your house, throwing rocks or nothing at your house. You feel me? Come on, man. I'm, I'm saying, when it come down to little kids, man, I don't... I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like these are innocent kids, man, trying to make it through high school, trying to get a scholarship, trying to get graduation. They trying to do something with their life. And you find stupid people like them try to get rid of people like that. They're trying to do something with their life. Because they mad at they self because they can't leave their house. Or they mad at they self because they ain't got nobody living with them. Or they mad at they self because nobody don't love them. You feel me? Something going wrong. Man, people mind is gone for real. You know what I'm saying? Man. This don't make no sense, man. This stupid right here. This stupid. You know what, my good people? Sometimes I be sitting back out there, be laying in the crib, be thinking about a lot of things, like especially little kids. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? We are grown up people. We should be looking out for the ones that 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, knowing that they want to, some of them want to do a better life. Some of them don't want to do a better life. The ones that out there doing dumb, they get what they deserve. But the one that ain't doing nothing dumb, come on, man, they don't deserve that. They don't deserve that. You feel me? Let the kids live and see what they can do with themselves out of life. That's stupid to me, man. That's stupid. But anyway, my good people, you know, I'm going to scratch that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? That right there got me a little heated. 
Because, man, that, that don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense, man. Anyway, I'm going to scratch that, my good people. I just pray every day that y'all continue watching over y'all kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, uh, and, and make sure y'all take y'all kids to school if you got to, man. You feel me? Whatever you do, don't turn up in nobody's yard, man. Because you don't never know what people are going through that day. You feel me? You don't know what they got in their hearts. So be careful. You know what I'm saying? If you legal to tote that fire, I really, I really, really get caught with it and caught with it. Because you got stupid people in this world. You got the ones that trying to live right but take themselves. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't doing that stupid stuff no more. You know what I'm saying? They can't protect themselves no more. You feel me? Because laws, gun laws that they made. You know what I'm saying? Now, they should have known people that are 16, 17 years old. You know good and well. Them ones don't need no gun in the streets. But they stupid. They let the gun speak for them. They let the gun motivate who they really is. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, I'm going to scratch that. I'm gone this time. But uh, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all down with me? Just come and let me know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How y'all feel about this situation. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So y'all down with me? Huh? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, and smack that dope bell for me, baby. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? And keep God first. You heard me? And I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone, my good people. I'm gone. Yeah, boy, she went no more be niggas over here. Yeah, boy, can't want to be just a tissue. Yeah, boy, can't see who got a whole juice to select ya. Yeah, boy, can't be just a tissue. I don't mean no disrespect, but it's the way I can't live